Back in the 80s, turbochargers were all the rage, but they had a pretty short lifespan, sometimes only lasting about 40,000 miles. By the early 90s, many automakers ditched them. But rather than becoming forgotten technology, turbos have returned in a big way. Today, nearly 25% of new cars have turbochargers, and that number will likely jump to more than 50% in the next few years. So what changed? One word, oil. Modern oils are critical for today's turbochargers. They can handle the intense heat generated inside these powerful little devices that yesterday's simply couldn't. When recommending oil for a turbocharged engine, tell your customers to look for these key factors. OEM certification for turbocharged engines. A good NOAC volatility test result. This checks if the oil leaves behind damaging carbon and sludge. A high flashpoint temperature, meaning it won't break down in extreme heat. It's not just about the oil though. Today's turbochargers are built better with stainless steel housings instead of cast iron and more efficient, reliable designs. One way to do an initial diagnosis of a turbocharger problem is simply looking at the exhaust smoke. Let's break it down. Black smoke usually means an air issue, a clogged air filter or obstructed intake. Blue smoke typically means there's an oil problem. White smoke is caused by unburnt fuel due to low combustion chamber heat. Remember, most turbocharger failures are caused by other vehicle problems, so always look for the root cause. So what can go wrong? Plenty. Damaged wheels can be caused by foreign objects entering the exhaust or compressor housings. Signs include a noisy turbocharger, loss of performance, chipped or pitted wheels. Lack of lubrication can cause catastrophic damage in seconds. It shows up as a discolored shaft or excessive bearing wear. Oil contamination is often visible as scoring marks on the bearings and can be caused by poor quality oil filters, high carbon buildup, or contaminated oil. So what should you say to your customer to help them keep their next turbocharger running properly? One, use the right oil and change it regularly. Two, follow recommended service intervals. Three, let the engine idle before shutting it off. Four, use high quality air and oil filters. And for techs, when replacing a turbocharger, always pre-lubricate it during installation. Turbochargers are designed to last the life of the engine, but problems can still occur. By understanding these common issues, recommending performing proper maintenance, you can help keep your customers' turbocharged engines running smoothly for years to come.